Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good Scorpio. This reading for today, this is for the Scorpio sign. Thank you so much Scorpio for connecting with me. Thank you so much Scorpio for being here. If you would like to further connect with me Scorpio, please do not forget to click the bell and click the subscribe button. To my subscribers, thank you, thank you so much. For guest viewers, welcome. And I hope you click the subscribe button and join my Scorpio lovable, supportive, <laughs> just kidding, Scorpio ascending team, okay? So in today's reading, let's look into love, career, money, and general inspirationship, okay? Scorpio, you have a three of swords. What is coming towards you? This is for the Scorpio sign. What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign, please? What can I get for the Scorpio sign? The King of Swords. Okay. What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign? Thank you guys for your support. Ooh, you've got the Lover's card in here. You have... We need to cover it, the picture. Otherwise, I'm going to have a problem. I'm going to be censored. Um, you've got the judgment card, the world card. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Let's start the reading, Scorpio. You're starting the reading with the Knight of Wands. You have... You have the Knight of Wands, you've got the Three of Swords, and you've got the Nine of Pentacles in here, Scorpio. Um, this is definitely a betrayal, a Three of Swords in here. Um, so the Knight of Wands and the Three of Swords, it looks like you were betrayed. Like it's getting hot in here kind of thing. Like um, uh, the Knight of Wands, they made you fall in love with them you know there's a situation recently or in the past energy where uh it could be it could be platonic it could be business it could be romantic but the aim of the knight of wands is to make you like them to make you fall in love with them to make you sign up to to get you to accept whatever they're offering they 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 want something from you and i think they were successful okay um but in fairness to this knight of wands you did enjoyed the company um there was something that because it's a very passionate uh person or it's a very passionate offer or it's a very interesting uh project you know there's so much passion and interest with it but then it disappointed you at the end you know with the three of swords in here um let's see oh i think you've fallen in love with this person and three of wands like um in a nutshell this could be a business a property because the knight of wands is not just romantic it could also be like someone is offering someone is sales stock king you okay they, they sales they sales stock you because they want to sell you something the knight of wands uh this is a the knight of wands is a fun vibrant interesting but they're not reliable or if they get what they want they would disappear okay um there's some truth about this knight of wands energy could be platonic romantic but w once they get what they want it it they disappear okay they they get they they got what they want so they they disappear that's that's the thing now i could really feel scorpio that you've you've fallen in love you know you felt king of cups with the knight of wands like king of cups you were like because they were charming that because the project was very passionate and interesting um you didn't you you like the person and also whatever they're offering okay because you king of cups you've fallen in love you know like love at first sight the three of wands you want this knight of wands to to be part of your life or because three of wands this is about the future so you want them to continue you know you want the knight of wands to grow into a king and then eventually a ten of you know a ten of wands and then 
um, you want them to pour their heart out to you too. So it was not reciprocated. You are a nine of pentacles right now. So let's see why is this energy here. When it's, it's giving me a vibe, Scorpio, that when you think of this person or situation, you've fallen in love, you wanted them to stay, or you like the project, you like the offer, they entice you. They made you taste of the project, of the idea, and then they disappear. That's the vibe, okay? Like, they gave, it's like, hey, and then they, they're gone. So you're disappointed with the three of swords in here. It's also possible that they promise you something, an offer, and they gave it to someone else. But there was an established passionate bond or passionate interest in here. That's the thing is you fell in love with either the person, the idea, the project, or whatever they offered you because you've established a passionate uh, bond with them. It, they just disappear or there was something more than that because this is a three of swords, you know. Um, you did move on because you're the nine of pentacles in here. Now the question is why? Because from three, three of wands, so it looks like there is some sort of update of uh, of this situation. Let's see why is this Knight of Wands who gave you the Three of Swords is reappearing in your reading. They'll take a risk, okay? Someone who gave you a Three of Swords, they disappeared, offered you the star and the moon. Uh, you move on. You completely move on. It's not... Oh, all right. The, the full card... You have moved on, but they have not moved on from you, Scorpio, I would say. I think this person, for you, it's like closed door. This person is like unfinished business. So you have different energy. You are, I have moved on. I'm a nine of pentacles. I'm not sure if you're open for, open to this person, but you've moved on. Closed door, closed chapter. This person... I betrayed you. I gave you a three of swords. I'm not over with you. It's unfinished business with me. And they will take a risk. And I'm hearing the word. Watch me come back and make you fall in love, Scorpio. It's a metaphor. So whoever this person is, they have a swag. It means that they will use all of their power to... Because you're a nine. You're good without them. You move on. And... You successfully move on or you're successful without them. You were successful to get over the Three of Swords. So this person, they will return in your life. And I'm getting a swag with this person. And it's like, um, I if I was able to convince you in the past, Scorpio, I will be able to, to convince you now or in the immediate future. It's younger than you. Um, yeah, this person is looking forward to making you fall in love or make you, there's something unique about their approach. I would say, Scorpio, prepare because they are willing to, they know it's like your Achilles, okay? Um, they can really make you fall. So be wise, Scorpio. You've gone through a lot. So, uh, it's more of like heads up. They will be back. The person who, like they gave you all of the love and they also took it away. So heads up, I will return. I can make you fall in love, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Yeah, what else? I'm, yeah, what else? Yeah, the six of wands, they'll message you online. Uh, this person will connect with you online this person they're determined to win your heart scorpio whoever this person with platonic romantic or business they're determined to uh win your heart i'm also hearing the word you cannot hate me forever i don't think you're you're like that scorpio yeah scorpio cannot hate you forever but scorpio can move on so i'm gonna leave it with you scorpio and how you're gonna deal with this person they're very like their energy is like, I'm going to make you fall in love. I'm going to really talk to you. I am like, no shame. I'm going to pursue you. It doesn't matter if you reject me. I'm just going to come around and come around and come around, you know. Okay. Now, what else is coming towards the Scorpio? You've got the Chariot card, the Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Um, 
I'm really picking up this is you. Okay, this is more of like your overall energy. Um, the chariot card, the seven of pentacles in here. I think there's a little bit of self-doubt. Okay, you've got the self self-doubt. There's something about self-doubt or self self-worry, self-doubt, or self-criticism that is stealing your peace or serenity. Okay, there's something in here. Scorpio. Um the chariot card, the seven of pentacles, and the king of swords. High priestess. Oh, this is so good. Scorpio, your higher self is telling you this self-doubt and self-criticism that is lurking around your vibe. Uh, this is something that you could throw it away. Okay, you can over you can overtake the self-doubt and self-worry because you're the king of swords. It means if you got some worries and concern, especially if it's becoming like a re reoccurring thought, a reoccurring thought that producing fear that is making you overthink, Scorpio, it's just in your head. Okay, let me remind you, it's just in your head. The high priestess is here. Listen to your psychic, not your demon. Okay, there's a shade, there's a bit of darkness in here. Uh, do not be afraid to counter that negative thoughts or that dark thoughts inside of you you have to refer to logic so if you're you know sometimes if we're insecure sometimes if we're sitting in a low vibe energy um, sometimes if low self-esteem it could create self-doubt okay self-criticism hopefully it's not gonna be worse than that but look the universe is telling you king of swords ground your energy and be logical so write down your fear and ask yourself this fear is it logical is it really a reality because uh, that fear it has a solution that fear it might not even be happening it's just in your head so gather facts okay if you're feeling low watch inspirational watch uh read inspirational book because the universe is telling you don't fear have logic not only that you have faith King of Swords, whatever your fear, apply facts, apply logic, because I don't think it's that worst. And this is a solution. Just don't overthink about it, okay? Scorpio, this is something that you can overthink. And I'm really getting like, if you overthink too much, you might miss this beautiful opportunity. Because this self-doubt, it's connected to a soulmate, Okay? this seven of pentacles and the child like something makes you blur something makes you feel something keeps makes you worry okay and that worrying stop worrying okay stop worrying start believing okay scorpio i'm really getting like a strong vibe in here stop worrying start believing and your worries and concern it's not even in reality it's just in your head okay and king of swords if you feel doubt facts okay you know if you're coming into conclusion oh it's this, this is gonna happen logic apply logic come on go to the facts go to the reality is it really happening like this i don't believe that there's if you say oh there's no solution to the, there's no solution to the problem well it's not a problem it is something that you need to accept because there's always a solution to a problem it might not occur now but over a time period it will so Maybe this is something that you kind of need to accept. I don't think that's even the, 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 the thing in here. The thing in here is that you're just overthinking. Relax. Listen to your psychic. Look into the reality. Because that worry. Apply logic. Because if you apply logic and ground your vibe, you would see the reality is there's a solution. The reality is not even, it's not even happening. It's far, far from happening. And you can prevent it. Okay? stay optimistic scorpio so you can pull together your resources your self-confident encounter you can overthink okay listen to my voice you can overthink this self pessimist it's coming from you you can fight this demon scorpio okay there's a sunshine and a scorpio inside of you okay now it could be connected to a soulmate. There is a soulmate in here. You've got the, yeah, the bottom of the deck is a ten, ten of pentacles. You could be manifesting an ex. You could be manifesting a relationship, but there's a soulmate in here. 
and there's a judgment card and the world card this is interesting i feel like this is more of um okay let's look at the soulmate so the soulmate card and ten of pentacles this is an energy of someone you've established a solid relationship or a solid feelings okay uh it could be family because this is a general collective reading it could be a family it could be a romantic relationship it could be friendship okay i don't think this is connected to uh business partnership the third reading it's more of like a it's more of like a family or romantic um there's a there's a judgment card let's look at the judgment card in here what's the judgment card for scorpio oh my gosh someone would like to recommit or commit okay what's this message please yeah so you have like um in the next 30 days you have a family situation or a romantic situation it's far from being friends okay it could be a friend thing um, but it's more likely connected to a romantic relationship or a family situationship. Now, the soulmate card, the Ten of Pentacles, this is a situation or a person. You have shared the property with them. You live with them. You have shared a strong soulmate bond. So even though you might have shared a short period of time, but you felt an immense, I want to marry you. I see myself long term with you or it could be like family too but there's a blood ties and a soulmate ties between it. it it this person made an impact into your life even though it's short lived for some of you or it could be like someone you dated but it's someone impactful okay there's an impact now judgment card and the world card um the site you have completed the cycle you and this person completed a cycle and it's looking like they wanted to update the situation because seven of swords so you will start to he you will start to hear from them Ooh, two of cups six of wands queen of wands you you win scorpio i would say seven of swords like this person tiptoeing there's a family situation this, if this is a family situation they will start to build up a message a query until the bond is restored so someone in your family will slowly like the the someone in the family that will slowly keep in touch with you slowly 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 you know page of pentacles and they would like to restore the bond probably see you and queen of wands i think you're gonna be happy if the relationship between you and this family member it will be restored but it looks like you're entering a cycle where a family thing needs to be dealt with okay you're you can, you're given a chance to heal a family situation they will message you but it's slow build it's a slow build it, and it's going to be effective if you accept them for some of you this is a soulmate where seven of swords i i don't know but i'm finding their message to you silly Okay, like this person would, hey, uh, Scorpio, can I ask you about this? Slow, because seven of swords sneaky. Okay, so the way they're going to message you, page of pentacles, it's not straightforward. They're probably like, hey, Scorpio, I'm sorry to bother you. Can I ask you about this? Whether it's family or romantic, they're, they're going to be sneaky. They're going to ask you something not connected to your relationship, something a random thingy um if you respond if you reply i think i i can feel in your heart that you would respond you will reply then they will start to be nice you can feel that they're sincere and four of wands they will work on you so it is a not straightforward their intention is good their intention is good their intention is to be with you They just don't want to shock you, Scorpio. Like, hey, Scorpio, I love you. No, it's not like that. So, Seven of Swords, they, they're a little bit sneaky. They'll ask you about this. Then you're going to reply. Then gonna, they're going to start to build up the vibe. And they're going to work on, you know, your trust. They're going to make you laugh. And then eventually, Four of Wands, your Two of Wands, Two of Wands, you know, they'll find a way to make you trust them again. So, there's something calming about this person. And I think... 
I think you're happy, Scorpio. I think you're happy to to accommodate them again. You're happy to get to know or accommodate them. They're in a good timing. I'm really getting like this person is in a good timing because you're in the mood to somehow listen to them. So it looks good, pretty good, Scorpio. Um, there's something about you with the Queen of Wands that you're going to take all of, like you're going to open. You're, gonna, you're not going to leave any you know stones unturned like if this is opportunity let me explore about it before i reject it you know because you're quite swag too and you know fears let me look at it you know let me explore it before i reject it okay you know what you're doing scorpio trust your instinct thank you scorpio it's such a pleasure doing the reading to you guys and uh, if you connected with me you like the vibe you're vibing with me click the bell click subscribe I will see you soon, Scorpio. You have a great day, okay? Stay positive. Do not overthink. Have faith. No worry, okay? Bye, guys. Take care.